Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great week of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about companies that are reporting earnings earnings this week. Uh, first one is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. Past year up 18%. Past five years up 438%. So this is a very high growth stock. And it also pay out, pays out a pretty good dividend. This stock makes up 11.37% portfolio or $35,556. I'm up 298% on this position. So Apple, their primary revenue source is iPhone, but as they continue to diversify their, their products, like getting into Mac computers as well as uh, iPads, they continue to increase the verticals in terms of the products. And they also have key growth in areas like services, um, such as Apple Music, iCloud, as well as the uh, wearable devices like Apple Watch, as well as AirPods. Uh, market cap is $2.65 trillion. PE ratio is 28.93. And dividend yield is 0.53. So it's great to see Apple paying out a dividend, as well as growing from capital appreciation. And Apple, there's been a lot of recent buzz around uh, them ha getting into the the car business, whether it's a electric smart car or um, yeah, competing with Tesla, and they're also looking into getting into the virtual reality space with their own take on it. And analyst ratings: there's out of the 43 analysts, 79% give it a buy rating. And I see Apple continue to grow, and hopefully they have a positive earnings report. Next is. Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT, currently priced at $2.96 per share. Past year, up 30.48%. Past five years, up 372%. So Microsoft is in the enterprise solution space, and they recently acquired Activision Blizzard, so hopefully they, they beef up the Xbox gaming business, as well as, um, yeah, hopefully that better positions, positions them into the metaverse with more of the intellectual property and content from Activision Blizzard. Um, this makes up 6.82% portfolio or $21,333. I'm up 236% on this position. So Microsoft, they're pretty big in the enterprise solution. So uh, Microsoft, uh, what do you call it? The Windows operating system as well as their uh, Microsoft 365. A lot of subscription-based uh, revenue. Market cap is $2.22 uh, $2 trillion. P ratio is 33, and dividend yield is 0.78. There's also a solid dividend growth stock. In terms of analyst ratings, out of the 40 analysts that reported, 90% give it a buy rating. So it's great to see Microsoft dominate in so many areas in the enterprise solutions, and as I get into the gaming that's a key growth driver as well into the metaverse. Next is Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. So Tesla is uh, known for their electric vehicles. Past year, up 12.19%. Past five years, up 1,803%. So the thing about Tesla is they've been reporting uh, profitability for the past couple quarters, and it's great to see that positive news. Hopefully, they maintain that in this upcoming earnings report. And they've also increased their their pricing of the self driving capability, I believe, by two thousand dollars. So hopefully, that also increases their revenue and their their opportunity to maintain their profitability. Market cap is nine hundred forty seven billion dollars. P ratio is three hundred five. And dividend yield is zero, which means they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. In terms of analyst ratings, out of the 41, 41% give it a buy rating, 32% give it a hold. I don't have a position in Tesla stock, but I do have some exposure through ETFs. And as we continue to look at Tesla, we could see that there's also a lot of competition. Uh, a lot of the, the established car manufacturers are getting into the space and they may take market share into Tesla, but the thing about Tesla is that they're 
one of the first mover advantage. They were into the market first with their self-driving capability as well as their electric vehicles. And it's one of the most compelling uh, looking vehicles, most appealing looking vehicles. So um, we'll see how the market share breaks down in the next year. Next is Visa, which is a payment processing company, ticker symbol V, currently priced at $205 per share past year up 0.54%. So it didn't really move much this past year. At one point it was up 23%, but past five years up 151%. This makes up 4.26% portfolio or $13,311. I'm up 74% on this position. So they're big in the digital payment services space and they have a strong global network, uh, their VisaNet network. Um, so as they continue to innovate and provide solutions for the consumers and merchants, financial institutions, um, yeah, Visa will benefit from that network. Currently, the market cap is $433 billion, P ratio is 37, and dividend yield is 0.65. So it's great to see Visa uh, benefit from the overall cyclical market of uh, consumer pur every purchase. Visa gets a piece of it just from uh, the consumers and merchants using their network. Their analysts out of 37, 92% give it a buy rating. And I plan to continue holding my Visa stock. Next is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. &J. They're big in the healthcare space. Past year, up 1.55%. Past five years, up 43.98%. So even though Johnson Johnson doesn't pay a, uh, or doesn't have strong capital appreciation, but their dividend yield is solid. This makes up 3.06% portfolio or $9,562 of 27% on this position. So Johnson Johnson, they're, they're in the consumer space, consumer health, as well as pharmaceutical and medical devices. Um, market cap is $434 billion. P ratio is 24.64 and dividend yield is 2.45. So great dividend aristocrat. Last but not least is MasterCard, ticker symbol MA. Current price of $354 per share. Past five years, up 7.15%. Past five years, 222%. So it's great to see that growth. Very similar to Visa. They have a, a strong network of uh, payment solutions for the consumers and financial institutions as well as merchants. Market cap is $348 billion, P ratio is 43, and dividend yield is 0.5. Out of the, the 36 analysts, 86% give it a buy rating. So overall, uh, MasterCard is very similar to Visa where in a strong market, they'll benefit because uh, every transaction, they get a cut of it. So those are the six stocks I am following for earnings week this week, um, among others. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts on these stock? Comment down below. We're going to use my referral links below, and both of us get $20 for using personal capital or free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.